Well, I, I've been around a very long time and uh, I've seen some, lots of mistakes made, some really big ones, and I've made quite a few mistakes myself. So my five top tips are, are quite hard earned. Um, number one is about the leader. Absolutely crucial that you have the right leader in, in your organisation. The, the leader has to set the right direction. The leader has to set the right values for the organisation. And most importantly, the leader has to set the right example. It is no point trying to expect everybody else, your staff, your colleagues, to focus on the customer or keep costs low if you're not doing that yourself. So leadership crucial and uh, setting the right example is important. Number two, the plan. You need a plan. You have to accept it will probably be out of date the day after you've finalised it, but the planning aspect is absolutely essential. Um, how are you going to differentiate your business from the com competition? If your business is about serving the Jersey market, don't forget that that market is a very small small thing and uh, it's very hard to make businesses work sometimes in Jersey due to the size of the market. Number three. Uh, number three is about measurement. You, um, What gets measured gets managed and uh, you have to understand the key numbers in your business that are going to ensure that it's going to stay on track and you have to measure those on accurately and on a, on a timely basis. There probably will only be a few Get to know which ones they are and, and measure them constantly. Number four, mistakes. Mistakes happen in life. Mistakes certainly happen in business. Don't keep bashing away at the same thing. Learn from those mistakes. Be prepared to move, up, move on. Don't blame the customer. Don't think the customer's got it wrong. Uh, you've got it wrong. Learn from them. Move on. Five, the team. Your business is going to grow, you are going to end up with a team of people helping you take that business forwards. Make sure you select the right people that have got the same values as you want for your organisation. But then most importantly, put them in the right jobs. Make sure that they, the jobs that you ask them to do uh, play to the talents and motivations that they have. I've seen so many great people put in the wrong jobs and... Uh, they don't succeed and the organisation doesn't meet its potential either.